Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, a very, very happy International Women's Day. It's that special day to celebrate all the incredible women figures in our lives. Whether it's mum, whether it's nan, whether it's aunt, whether it's a wife, whether it's a girlfriend, whether it's that special somebody in your life. Do you know what? This day is really, rem it just reminds us that actually, do you know what? It's so important to take a step back in our lives and just look at those incredible figures in our life and just say, do you know what? you inspire me you are amazing and i love the bones of you and my life just wouldn't be the way it is without you as an inspiration in it and as a amazing just a beautiful influence in my life and for me i have got some incredible uh lady figures they, that sounds strange doesn't it amazing ladies in my life um they really have and i just I want to pay homage, I want to share the love, and those incredible ladies in my life, there is no Mrs. Roderick at the moment, I have faith in my heart that there will be. Um, so, no wife at the moment, no girlfriend, but however, those two incredible ladies are my mum and my nan, who are huge inspirations to my life. And I mean, wow, where to start? So, why inspirational, why a huge influence? Well, first things first, I am absolutely in awe of these two ladies in my family. Now, my nan I no longer have with me but she is always in my heart she is up above she washes over me and I love her to pieces and she is still my world and she always will be as is my mum so my mum and I are best friends I'm blessed in this life with parents and I have my mum and dad by my side throughout absolutely everything I've not been blessed with, with great health unfortunately throughout my 20s and now being 30 still dealing with issues um, but not just that, throughout my career, throughout my early days of my career, from schooling to me being as a child, my parents are incredible. Now, talking about ladies today, my mum is my is an absolute best friend to me, and I am in awe of how she handles things and how she can handle life, and that nothing gets her down, nothing knocks her down, and she can just handle and juggle literally everything. Whereas me, I stress and I worry. I'm not saying that because I know for a fact she stresses and she worries, but with mum, just she seems to just be able to handle everything just so incredible. And I am just in awe of that. And you know, what? if I am half the person, half the incredible, half the person of this incredible lady, uh, then do you know what? That would make me ultimately hugely, hugely successful. And I am just in awe of her. Every day she is by my side. I live in the family home and I've been going through some testing times lately the last couple of months, um, which I'll be talking about on my channel um, shortly. And she's just there. Do you know what I'm at? It doesn't matter uh, what I can be dealing with, struggles, uh, fears, worries, to those great achievements, to fantastic times, to fun, laughter, and just just a huge inspiration to how she seems to never let anything keep her down. She's strong when she needs to be. She is caring and loving always, and just so thoughtful, such a beautiful soul. My mum is incredibly glamorous. She's a beautiful, beautiful lady, and I'm just so very, very proud of her. And she is a huge inspiration to my life, a huge influence in my life of me wanting to keep going throughout the difficult times, me wanting to keep having adventures and seeing incredible things. And I just hope that one day that the Lord blesses me with with my wife by my side and I get to show my mum and my dad all who I am and a beautiful family to kind of almost mirror that, you know, I've got my beautiful family. I came from, I came from a stunning, beautiful family and... Yeah, I hope it works that way. Do you know what? Life throws so many different things at us. It really, really does. And faith for me is a huge guidance. It really does. Um, and for me, I'm just always just so thankful that I was blessed the way I have been in this life. And do you know what? I think sometimes we forget that. And I'm, and I'm not afraid to say that, that I do forget that sometimes. Just that I get to wake up in the family home in the morning and whether I'm going through whatever, whether it be good or bad, I get to go downstairs. I get to have a conversation with my mum, my dad. I get to share a cup of coffee with them. I get to share laughter. I get to share that care, that consideration, that love, that lifting hand in a dark situation, in a hurting situation or in happiness or in achievement or when something disastrous has gone wrong. But yet they don't just do that for me, they do that for my three other brothers, for their grandchildren. And it's just, there seems to be nothing which my parents, my mum can't handle. Um, 
and she's just a beautiful soul inside and out and she is a huge inspiration to me she's juggled jobs she's juggled looking and bringing up our family and my mum is constantly busy always running around uh, looking after us looking after the the, the home with uh, she enjoys uh, spending time with her grandchildren and she's just hectically busy all the time but yet can always find time to support in love and get you through a difficult situation or to support me in decisions around work um and sometimes honestly i feel, I feel sorry for my mum because her ears i must knack her to death in regards to uh when i i vent and i talk about things and sometimes do you know i'm not always that quick to realize that actually you know, mum needs to talk to somebody too so then when i clock that then i then i say to myself do you know what me and mum going for lunch friday afternoon or i'll take some time throughout the week and we'll have that heart to heart conversation i'll make sure mum's okay and yeah, I just make sure that she's okay and look after her as well. So I am cognizant of that. Um, I am guilty at times because of the different things which I've gone through. Um, but yeah, I love and I, I love to support the family as well. And there's nothing in this world I wouldn't do for any of my family. Um, and my mum and I are best friends and, and my dad also as well. So I've been truly, truly blessed in this life. So my mum, a huge influ uh, inspirational and an influence uh, in my life. And certainly I want to pay homage to her. Um, and on, on this special day of International uh, Women's Day. So the next person I want to talk to you about is that lady's mother, which is my nan. Um, now, sadly, I no longer have my nan into my heartbreak. Um, and do you know what? Talking about these two incredible ladies, um, growing up, I was very aware that just being in their presence, being in their bond, um, because yes, they were mother and daughter, but they were like sisters, best friends through and through, see each other every single day for years whilst I was at uh, infant school, primary school, um, and just throughout life. And was always at occasions, festivities, um, just anything which went wrong or was good or anything happened. My nan was the first one there. She had seven children. My mum had four. So I've always known a very, very busy family. Um, we've been blessed. Do you know what? Absolutely been blessed. I've been blessed with my upbringing from my parents. I was blessed with the love from my nan um, and just so many great things. And do you know what? what I, I'm really in awe of with my nan. Of course, it's it's amazing that I, I have those generations to relate to. So my mum and my nan going back and right from her her um, start of her life and in, in her life, which was turned upside down from um, when she lost her mother very, very young. And I actually have a picture. My nan gave me a picture of her mother, a portrait, a beautiful, beautiful lady. I think she was born in 1901 um, and my nan was born in 1926. So um, that real incredible era um, and losing her. I think my nan was very, very young, only a very small child when she lost her mother. And when my nan, um, she had seven uh she was one of seven, so they were divided. And um, and strangely enough, my nan was one of seven, and my nan went on to have seven. Um, so at the age of 18, my nan left for the land army, and at the age of 24, um, she met my grandfather, and they married. And then she had seven children. Uh, beautiful home, beautiful family. Um, but yeah, there were ups and downs. And do you know what, my nan, how she could just deal with everything. And I mean just everything. Um, and whether that's where my mum gets it from as well, just two incredibly strong ladies, two incredible, influential, hardworking, devoted, loving, caring, all of those wonderful things which you'd want somebody to be in your life, they are that and more, a gift from God, I always say. And whatever I've done to deserve the gift which the Lord bless you with, I shall never ever know. My nan grandchildren and great grandchildren, and she was a great, great, great grandmother as well. I think it was over 55 in total she had. And do you know what? She was involved with everyone involved. If you were going through something, if you had something wrong, whether it was good or bad, my nan was there. She always made it her business to look after, to support, to nurture, to take care. And I'm just so in awe that throughout her whole life, she was given a really bad set of cards from when she was a young child. But do you know what? That did not stop her. And the four things, I mean, when I lost my nan, I looked after my nan throughout her Alzheimer's, she was diagnosed with. Um, 
And that started to come my nan. I'd say early to mid 80s. And then she was very strong with it right up until about 91. And then the last couple of years of my nan's life and throughout COVID, things changed. But you know what? My nan was so strong throughout her whole life. And again, exactly like my mum, my nan would walk into a room and I have um, I have a relative who um, my nan was her aunt. Um, so I'm not sure what relation that would make me, but there is a relation there. And she always said that when she visited my nan, she would always bring, uh, she'd always buy my nan a gift and she'd buy me a gift because I was always with my nan at the weekends growing up. And she always said when Gwen walked into a room, that was my name, uh, my nan's name, by the way, Gwendoline. And um, when she walked into a room, you'd think that it was a Hollywood star. And you know what? I can absolutely second that because nan was always so, so glamorous as, as my mum, really. And... Um, exactly the same and uh, just always done up to the nines that's nan's phrase um always never without her makeup never without her hair done um and just wow and always if something was going on bad or anything first thing nan would do get herself all done up hair all, all absolutely just like a star and um yeah do you know what? there was nothing in this world she couldn't handle nothing she had seven children four sons four very full-on loud sons which is my uncles and three daughters and um just wow and uh, she was there throughout everything and throughout her grandchildren as well and she lived her life how she wanted to she was independent she had a tough life she was never blessed with with um with an easy life at all um but nan's motto was that she will always be okay and that she would just keep pushing and that she would get through through it no matter what and even when my nan um was starting to show signs of dementia and my nan's memory, she started to get a little bit forgetful. And um, anybody will know the journey, what lies ahead for somebody with um, a dementia and particularly Alzheimer's, uh, which is, I mean, they're all devastatingly um, horrific and they rob that person of so much. Um, my nan, really, I'll be quite honest to you, she held two fingers up to Alzheimer's and she kept going, she was determined to keep going and you know what right up until we lost my nan she looked exactly like my nan always done up to the nines she got a little bit smaller um and frail of course due to the illness but that was in the last couple of years of her life and then when it started to affect her communication but you know what she kept strong and she was determined that it was not going to stop her from doing things and she done everything she wanted to she didn't owe anything to anybody and she done it all herself and then when she did need support and when because she was adamant that she would not have any help from anybody she was so independent but of course as the nature of the illness took hold of my nan things became to be a little bit cloudy and doors closed and doors opened with her mind um but just testament that she never ever stopped right up until her last um her last day of life um the strength she was as strong as an ox. Nothing would keep her down. Even on a bad day, and I would be done up to the nines. Absolutely looking incredibly glamorous. Handbag on arm, and literally face the world, and she'd take your hand with the other arm and uh, the other hand. And do you know, I think that's my mum gets that strength installed in her that no matter what goes on, she's like, right, I'm going to be, I'm going to be who I am. I'm done up as I am. This is me. It's not for anybody else. It's for me and she would take on the world and my mum had uh four sons of course including myself um my father was in the navy um they provided us with such an incredible incredible upbringing and i've had so many beautiful memories and i'm blessed with so much in this life uh through them um health wise i haven't been given the, the best cards um unfortunately but it doesn't define me doesn't doesn't stop me and i get that strength from my mum and my dad um and just and just wow i mean my mum sometimes when my, my dad was away in the navy um in the armed forces he um would be away for long periods of time and it would be my mum and my nan and um and just it it was a beautiful family to be quite honest with you how my mum ever done it sometimes with four of us I, I don't know um and yeah just and she handled and uh she she had her uh, all different jobs um and worked really really hard throughout all of that as well and um yeah grew up in a beautiful home uh was very blessed with just 
the love of my parents and had so many incredible memories and and just a huge as you can tell hopefully huge inspirational factors huge inspirational characters in my life well oh, one of my brothers <laughs> Uh, so very busy family home all the time and um, and my phone's on by the way as well my two brothers both went for interviews at the same time and they both done it incredibly well so god bless them and um, yeah hopefully um, it's all going to go well but hopefully you can get that I get in this life that not everybody is as blessed and I am very aware of that and I, uh, I thank the Lord every day in my prayers um, International Women's Day of course it's not just about mums it's not just about nans um, I have a, I have another grandmother who I absolutely love and adore, and I absolutely love her to pieces. And um, just very very different from my nan. I think my nan was my heart and soul, my world, um, as is my mum. And yeah, I have a I have incredible family. So many uh, amazing, inspirational uh, ladies in my life. I've got my aunt, my special my my aunt who I love. Um, I have another aunt who was so incredibly strong, exactly like my mum, uh, my nan's daughter. Um, we lost her to cancer at only the age of forty six. Uh, it's just, do you know what? I, I celebrate her today, my auntie Kim, um, and such a beautiful lady, such a beautiful soul. So I pay homage to her today. That. She inspires me always, and even though she's not here physically, she's always here, and she's put my nan up above, and um, and yeah, as I say, I'm not blessed with a wife or a girlfriend at the moment, but I hope that's in my plan, um, and I hope to have a children, I hope to have children myself one day, and I hope to have the beautiful family I hold in my mind, um, and I hope that I'll be able to show my nan up above and, and my mum and my dad and have those special times. My three brothers have, um, they have children. So very jealous as you can imagine, but our plans are written in this life. Our plans are written and I have, I have faith that, do you know, if I'm, if I'm not meant for a family, then I'm meant for something else. I, I hope that there is that, that beautiful life partner and she's on my uh, path of life, which the God, uh, which the Lord above has blessed me with. Um, but you know, I'm not rushing things. I'm enjoying life. Um, I enjoy the family I've been blessed into. I enjoy my parents' time. It breaks my heart that my nan is no longer here with me, but she is always with me. Um, and yeah, do you know what? There are so many inspirational ladies in this world. There really truly are. I mean, whether that's your wife, whether that's your girlfriend, whether that's your sister, whether that's your mother, your your grandmother, your nan. I know I always, my nan would always be insist on being called nan or nanny. And my um, other grandmother would always be called Granny or Grandma. Um, strange, isn't it? And my nan would always say, "Bless her." She'd always go, um, D "Don't call me, don't call me Granny or Grandma or any of that." She wouldn't have. She said it would. It, make, it used to make her feel too old. And do you know what my nan used to talk about? Um, she always was so loving and caring. Um, and uh, she'd always talk about, "Oh, bless them!" And if there was somebody who was less fortunate and um, down on their luck, as my nan would say, and um, if there was an elderly person who needed help or anything, bear in mind, my nan lived to the age of, um, she was just showed 95, bless her, and uh, even even sort of at that sort of age, nan would look at older people and she would and she would go and bless them and if they needed help in that, and she'd try to help, and um, I would think to myself, do you know, they're younger than you, they're younger than you, um, but yeah, I mean, Everybody in my family knows hard work, they really, really do, and um, my nan worked right up until her um, mid-70s. Um, my mum and dad, you know, I sit on my channel sometimes and I get comments like how privileged and things I am and that, but you know what, yes, my parents built a life for us in our family, but they've worked damn hard. My mum and dad have worked together, they've worked very, very hard, and, um, and, and they've done that through hard work. My nan, exactly the same. She worked for all of her children uh, to have a life. And I mean, even for her herself to provide for for family, grandchildren, and to to have all all of that in life. I mean, she worked up until that age as well. It's just there's so much it teaches us that actually, um, if you want things in life, you have to work hard for it. And you know what? The day I lost my nan, and without my mum, I just don't know how I would have got through through it. And some days I still don't. Some days I go to my mum and I'm, I'm in tears. With life, just sometimes handling life, I think, as a young person is hard nowadays. It really is. And I'm just in awe of how my parents handle it, how my nan handled it. And, um, you know, sometimes, um, it, it was when, sorry what I was saying, it was when, 
we'd lost my nan, and um, I gave my nan's eulogy in the uh, chapel, and um, she taught me so much, as your parents teach you so much in this life, my nan taught me so much, but the four things which she taught me, which I will always hold on to, and, and, I, and it dawned on me, the day before, when I say goodbye to my nan in the chapel of rest, and um, I went and see my nan twice, and the last time I see my nan, I got hold of my nan's hand, and she was, as she was let in, in status to speak in, and she was, wow, she she looked incredible, incredible, in, in, not, nearly 95, now didn't have a line on her face, no wrinkles at all, she, my mum had her dressed in this beautiful pink suit, and mum and I done it together, and nan was all done up to the nines, and I done my nan's hair, um, and mum dressed her, and mum applied her makeup and everything, and do you know what, I went to see my nan once with my uh, mum, and I just broke down, I just couldn't cope, and I wanted to go back again, I wanted to pray with nan, and I wanted, um, I wanted to hold her hand one last time, and I said to my nan that this wasn't the end, we just couldn't hold hands anymore, and you know, that's how I ended my nan's eulogy, and it took me about half an hour to read my nan's eulogy, um, and I realised four things which she taught me. Do you know what? Always work hard. Okay? Next. Never ever give up. No matter what, keep going. Next. Always look your best. Next. Family is everything. And on that note, on this very, very special Women's Internationals Day, say it again, Bradley, International Women's Day. <laughs> I've been struggling with that before I started the clip. I was saying it about six times and I couldn't get it right. And I was trying to take a picture for the front of this clip and I still couldn't get it right. Um, but on this International Women's Day, way I said it right. Um, I wonder who is your inspirational factor in this life? Very, very interesting story. And I know it's all very personal to us, all very valued, very just loving and just means so much. And it certainly does for me. So... God bless you. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you for being here. A very happy International Women's Day, Monterey. And um, yeah, God bless. Take great care. Thanks very much for being here. And let me know who is your inspirational uh, figure in your life. Um, who's the incredible lady in your life? Let me know down below and um, in the comments. And I'll do my utmost best to get back to you as quickly as I can. OK, um, on that note, as I say, God bless. Take great care. Thank you very much for being here. And until next time, take care of yourself. Thank you for being here. It means the utmost world to me as always. And I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.